Hello, and thanks for checking out WENDO. WENDO Women's Self-Defense is Canada's longest running self-defense program taught by women for women. We work with women and girls aged 10 and up to break through stereotypes about us as women, about our worth, and about what we can and can't do. Our focus is always to debunk victim-blaming myths that are still so prevalent in our culture. We work with women of all abilities, looking at how we can use our bodies the way they are today to protect ourselves without changing a thing. In our shorter workshops, our full 15-hour basic course, and our intermediate and advanced training, we cover awareness and avoidance strategies, verbal self-defense strategies, physical techniques for a wide range of situations, and how we can use our voices. One of the first things we practice is how to yell. Why? Because for one thing, the attacker isn't expecting that from us, but even more importantly, it stops us from freezing. We practice yelling because we know that if we yell, we will not freeze. And that big injection of oxygen into our bodies mixes with adrenaline to make us fiercer and more dangerous to that attacker. We also look at how we can use our hands, feet, elbows, canes, crutches, wheelchairs, and weapons at hand to smash through the vulnerable parts of an attacker's body. Of course, we hope that we're never in a situation where we have to use a physical technique against an attacker, but if we can't avoid, get help, reason with that attacker, then we want to give ourselves permission to use physical resistance against that attacker because we are worth it. Years ago, in Toronto on Queen Street, a six-year-old girl was walking with her mother and trailing just a few feet behind. A man who didn't know that family got out of his car, he came up behind that child, grabbed her by the shoulders, and started pulling her away from her mother back towards his car. That girl picked up her foot, she flexed it, and she smashed her heel, stomping it right down through his instep. So that's where the shoelaces are on the top of the foot, and she broke his foot. He let go, she ran back to her mom, mom called 911, and the police came right away and caught him pretty quickly. Why? Well, he couldn't get very far on a broken foot. She had caused mechanical failure. Now we know that women already know lots about the vulnerable targets on the attacker's body, many of which cause mechanical failure, which means that attacker can't use their body to hurt us the way that they want to. Some of these include the instep, the shin, the knee, the collarbone, the eyes, and the nose. So this works even if that attacker is bigger and physically stronger than we are. So if that attacker is six foot five, 250 pounds, and works out at the gym six days a week, he's still not gonna be buffing up his nose. We want women and girls to know that we do have the power to defend ourselves effectively. Many of us have been told that if we fight back, well, you know, it might just make that attacker more angry. Well, if I break that attacker's kneecap, might he be angry about it? Sure. Am I gonna stick around and talk to him about his feelings about that? No, I'm gonna get out of there. We want women and girls to know that if a six-year-old girl can break bones on an attacker's body, so can we. We want women to know that we have the strength to defend ourselves, and it's not a question of whether or not we have the power, we do. But rather it's about giving ourselves permission to do whatever it takes to defend ourselves because we are worth it. The fact is, no one has a right to lay their hands on us without our permission. Even if we're in a relationship with them, even if they're in our family, we have a right to say no and a right to defend ourselves. Women and girls deserve to know our power. We want women and girls to know that we have double the strength required to break through the collarbone of an attacker. We want women and girls to know that we are smarter and stronger than the world wants us to believe that we are. And we want to create a more dangerous world for any attacker who tries to mess with us. And of course, if anyone has hurt us in any way, no matter our relationship to them, no matter if we were drunk, stoned, high, what time it was where we were, it's never our fault. So... Big thank you uh, to you for checking us out and a big thank you to the University of Toronto for continuing to provide free workshops and courses to the campus communities for over 25 years. Hope to see you on a class in the near future.